this is the tensile test procedure for the Hounsfield 25KS tensile testing machine. The first portion of the test is to test the e-stop. So to do this, switch the machine off, depress the e-stop and listen for the audible alarm. If this sounds, everything's okay, switch it off, reset the e-stop and start the machine again. Next, we'll need to be able to jog the machine. There's two modes. The first is incremental jog mode. To do this, press the circular button so that the LED is flashing, and the up button will jog the, the main bar by a predefined amount, generally a millimetre or so. In continuous mode, that's the solid LED, the bar will move of its own accord. Next, we need to install one of the tensile test specimens. So to do this, install the collet, add the collet ring, and secure this entire assembly to the top stanchion via means of the pin. When you're confident this is secure, we'll now need to do the same to the bottom of the tensile test specimen. It's likely that this won't fit in, so we'll need to jog the bar up to allow space for the ring. When there's sufficient space, you need to apply a small amount of downward pressure on the assembly so that there is no slack in the system. Stop the machine and lower the bar so that we can insert the pin. At the point where you can see daylight through the two holes, you'll need to stop the machine and enter incremental jog mode. Once in incremental jog mode, insert the pin with one hand, hold it in position, and lower the bar one step at a time until the pin goes in. This is to ensure that the pin, the tensile test specimen, is not preloaded. Next, we need to reset the force and extension by pressing F1 and F2. Then we'll hit 6 to enter the full graphing mode. We'll then hit the test button and enter continuous jog mode before pressing the up arrow. This will run the test. Ensure that you're wearing safety goggles and that you stood well back from the machine. Cool. On successful completion of the test, you'll see a graph like this on the machine's display. The first linear section is the elastic region, followed by a yield. And finally, the curvy section is a plastic region and fracture. For a full explanation of this, watch our stress strain curve video tutorial, which is linked above.